there'll be a camera that goes in the arm. It didn't show an arm there. And then uh, that computer is one that's designed to take user code as opposed to the code that's running in the robot. Why don't we bring out the robot? Sure. Let's, hey, let's actually see it in action. So here's Spot Mini, and uh, Seth Davis is operating it. It's not running autonomously right now, although many of the control functions are running on the onboard uh, computer. Seth, Seth is a guy that you never actually see in the videos, but, but he's in every single past video, there's been Seth or someone essentially doing Seth's job controlling the robot. And these videos that we've seen this week are the first time that this has really been demoed autonomously. Right. That's right. So as I said, this is a platform. The arm is an extra cost option that you can take off. And that white box is a computer that really we're only using today because it's got a, a better radio than the standard radio. And in this environment where you all have cell phones and Wi-Fi, uh, it's sometimes a challenge to uh, get that working. So this is using a spread spectrum uh, uh, radio that makes it easier. Um, the robot's omnidirectional. When it came out, it was using a, a number of different walking gates. It's omnidirectional, so Seth can, just using a joystick, uh, steer it around. And uh, he'll, we'll, we'll have the robot out in the lobby after the talk, and if some of you will get a chance to drive. And let me just show a few things on there. Uh, there's cameras here. There's two sets of stereo <laughs> cameras. And there's also one uh, on the left. You want to turn, turn it in place? So there's also one back here. There's a butt cam. There's another one on this side. Is that, is that, that a trademark name, the butt that, cam? We should, we should yeah, trademark that. Get on that. Um, the joints, this is all electric, so even though Atlas has hydraulics, it's got a quick disconnect uh, battery underneath, which you can't see here. Um, and again, the arm, which has similar technology to the, uh, to the legs. Uh, one of the things we love to do is show that you can stabilize the hand while the body moves. And this looks like a kind of a show-off trick, but really this is important if you're going to do manipulation in the world. You want to think about how the hand moves and not worry about the body. And I can do that. I can touch Brian over here on his shoulder and I can move my body all around and still my forces between me and Brian are, are pretty modest. And so we're building up that to do uh, mobile manipulation and uh, and other tricks. So we're not doing autonomous control, but you'll see that the sensors can be used to go over simple obstacles. So the robot is looking ahead and seeing these and using uh, quadratic programming in order to plan its footsteps so that it uh, goes over smoothly. You can see it, it arches the body up a little bit in advance. There it missed the, the thing a little bit. You wanna go over sideways? This is riskier, but for you, so that because we have cameras, or you can go backwards if you want. If because we have cameras on the side, it can see the box and step over. You notice that the back legs stepped up and the front legs uh, didn't in that case. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Spot.